Hello ladies, it's me again. It's Penny at Penny's Place, a very sunny Penny's Place. Got the doors open because it's beautiful. Um, Art's just come home, so it's but it's at 10 to 5, so he'll be wanting tea soon. But before he does that, this is far more important that I talk to you. <laughs> He's outside, he can't hear me. <laughs> so I thought I'd come back and show you how I finished off doing these um, ATC cards and as you can see to me they were like night scenes all the colours and everything I mean you don't have to use washi tape there it was just a different texture and as I say it gives inspiration for maybe the colours or things so I picked a light blue and an eggshell white I've used an onyx in moon, which is still um, making cells. Uh, what else have I used? There's two lots of washi tape on that. And then some just dark blue up here. Now to me, because they look like night, night time, um, I've added stars. Now the only thing is I've used are... are, are, are yeah. These little things that you get for, to put on your nails if you're in that way. Um, little nail decoration on your um, nail varnish and that. And uh, they've always come handy for lots of things. I was going to put some gems on but I don't think it needed it. I think just the stars and that and little sprinkles. And I say it's still, it's still working. This is still very, very wet. I can't, can't really even tip it up much. Um, I can see, yeah, that's right, a little bit goldy, that little extra bit I did there. So I think it's come out, I think they've come out rather nice. So I don't know if I'm going to send one of these now, the ATC. I'll show you the other one that I did, the very first one. And that was this one. So I've done it silver, but I used a different colour washi tape there. It was mainly pinks and um, a, like a deep red colour inside it as well. So that's what I did with the first one. Very same principle as these, but that was my first attempt. But now I've done these, I, I, I quite like these very much. So, uh, so I've got two or three to choose from now. So, so that was that. So I'm going to put these down very carefully because um, and on a flat surface because you don't want to uh, uh, dribbling all over the place. Um, I said I'd show you how I ended up. I'd done these on um, acetate and uh, I said I didn't know what I was going to do with them but in the end I made a card. So this is the card I made and of course, um, can you see? Because you, you can see the light behind it when it stood up. So on the inside I've cut a circle out. Oh, you see that when it stood up you could see the light, oh, light behind it. So that was one card I've done and I've done a little um, gift, gift tag to go with it. I mean they're not brilliant, it was, you know, it was all, all practice and I didn't even use glass, uh, glass liner on this, I just used um, what do you call it? Uh, pearl, pe 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 pearl drops, and I just used that, which I think is fine because some of the glass stuff is quite expensive unless you make your own, which is what I'm hoping to do. So that's what happened to that. So I made that card, and another little Christmas card with some um, stained glass trees effect. So I've not put an inner on that one. So. That's a nice simple card, but it just, uh, you know, it's nice for a winter scene. So that, my bags are sticky to me, it's that hot. And, um, and these I think you've seen already anyway. I turned that one round because it's better that side than it was the other. I liked it better that side. So you can do lots of little, different little things with them. And it's all practice, isn't it? Keep that in that one. What else was I going to show you? Hold on, let me put these away. 
There we go. I mine that one. And my pair. <laughs> Not that pair yet. Um, I think you know that my naughty Mr. Pitt keeps escaping from the um, caravan. Or if I take him out on the lead, he tries to escape. Uh, he's like an naughty teenager, you know, get out of bed, get out of bed, and he won't. And then when he finally does get out of bed and I take him on the lead, he doesn't want to come back in, does he? So he escapes me. So, because we've got um, a nice little screen door, but he's uh, trying, he can get underneath it. So we've made this board up. It's a bit warped at the moment, but it's something flat on it. So uh, I've painted it up. I've done his picture. Oh, okay, see his picture. Let me see. There he is, that's his picture of him, which was actually took in the caravan, that one. And on that side I've put, please write your pose, by order of Mr Pitt, of course. And I've done a heart with a little pearl. So that can slot in the door, and hopefully it will keep him in. <laughs> but you have to remember it's there, because you have to lift your leg over that. Um... <coughs> A little bit awkward, but there we go. That's the penalties of having a cat. On that side, uh, on that side, there's another big picture of him, and I've actually enhanced his uh, eyes with with actually PBO. Um, I had it lying around, and I thought I could use his eyes being a bit more glassy, a bit more shiny, and so I used that which is the Prismy Emerald, which was just his colour of eyes. So they kind of glow a bit in the dark, hopefully. Um, and on this side, it's going to have some writing. Um, I think it's his residence. Mr Pitt lives here with his staff. So I think that's what's going on there when I get round to it. And then it'll all have to be sprayed varnished to protect it. So that's what I've been up to. So that was that one. And the other thing I've been up to is, I have to go around here to get it. Now I'll show you this, this is it. I've also been doing a little bit of jewellery. Not much, but I found these. And we're using that um, PBO paint. Um, I've done these and I think they look very pretty. Uh, I think so. Hold on, let me get a bit of... Oops, now I can put them that way. Be able to see them a bit better. So, I'm not sure whether to put a chain on or a ribbon type necklace yet, I'm not sure. And plus, they do need resin on in them. So, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. I think I'm quite happy with the way they've come out. I've put a little bit of um, glitter glass in them as well. And... Um, I put resin in them to protect them and I think that would be a nice little set. So that's how I'm getting on with Prismy and glass and what have you. As I say, the, the next thing I'm going to try is, uh, oh, that's a bit too close now, aren't you? Hold on, there you go. Is on uh, jam jars. So saving jam jars to get plenty of practice. And I'll be making some um, icing bags out of uh, uh, parchment paper so that I don't use it out the tube. But before I do that, I'm going to actually try and make my own lining paint. Apparently you use um, polypiller, you know, with the one with silicone in it, um, or just silicone, and then some colour of your choice and mix it up and a little drop of water and um, that's all you use really for the liner so that would be a lot lot cheaper than buying than buying all these liners and you can go any colour you like so that's what I'm going to do so thank you very much for watching ladies and um, I'll put this up the computer's out so and then I'm going for a little rest before tea bye bye for now Stay safe everybody. Bye.